XRP, we start with one hour chart. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video when the price was within this move exactly here, we mentioned how we can look for buy. We talk about all the, the different possibility. And one of the option was to have entry above this. I mentioned having entry above this, above the top either here or here, it depends on the traders. For me, the only times I will put my entry above this if I get the correction at the top. And this is what we get. When we see this correction, then from there, we consider to have entry either above here or here. It depends on the traders. And uh, this is what we get. And right now, whoever get the trade either from here or especially from here, at least they start to manage from here. They can move their sub loss to break even as, um, as well here because we need to be really careful as we can see the price broke the previous top. And if we refer to the indicators, we see we have a divergence and this one here. The divergence doesn't give us, I mean, at this point doesn't mean anything to us. The only thing is if we see the correction, maybe we need to even care about having a divergence. But what we're looking for, we're looking for continuation. This is the reasons because I mentioned, if you refer to my analysis, I mentioned the best thing is if the price drop, then from there we can look for trade setup. And if we want to have entry above this, let give us a correction. And this is what we get. Because the only way to look for trade from here, having entry above this. All right. And in this case, we move to higher time frame. We want to see what we have based on higher time frame. As you can see, based on daily chart, we're looking for continuation. We want to see whether the price can break this correction and continue or not. Maybe these things I move to only one hour chart. Okay. All right. And we based on forward to daily chart, we're looking for continuation. We want to see whether the price can break and confirm this cor co correction is finished and we want to see the continuation. Anyway, still we cannot confirm and the only thing says whoever get the trade based on one hour chart they have to manage the trade and what i'm looking for the first we put the lines here the first target is 1.2725 following by 1.867 these targets are based on the, the percentage based on this move we are not going to take the trade take out the profit from this target for the traders for short term they can take out but for long term this is where we want to see the price can break or not, okay? This is where we have to start our manage our trades. If we see the correction, at least book some profit. Again, we want to see the breakout of these things and as well, we need to care about the stop, okay? But based on forward chart, we don't have anything. The only thing is for continuation. And if I move to one hour chart, as I mentioned, whoever get the trade, they have to move their stop loss to break even at the, or they watch out. And what I'm looking for, the first target, I want to see whether the price can break is 1.725 and following by 1.867. By the way, what I have here, this one is the breakout of the previous one, which is 1.76472, which is this one. All right, again, the targets I put here just indicative i'm um, not indicative it's just a percentage based on this move and i want to see the breakout of any of this mostly either here or the next one we can expect the price to then give us a correction may from there at least if we can book some profit and if we get a new trade setup we can look for trade anyway we're looking for continuation and in this case we just follow the chart and the only thing says we want to see whether the price can break this one the previous stop and at least we confirm this correction is finished and from there we look for continuation anyway even if we want to look for next trade the only thing says we want to see the if we see the correction as a flag maybe we can look for the another trade setup but the best thing is we want to see whether the price can break any of this level or not in this case we just follow the chart again we have to manage the trade we need to watch and in case there is a reversal at least move or stop loss to break even or if not, at least, again, we need to really monitor it and uh, nothing else. We just follow the chart. And if I see any update, any trade setup, I will share. Thanks.